Hey guys, welcome back. It's soon another part of the Sims 4 Cool Baby Challenge. So today is episode 16. So the last part hasn't actually gone up when I'm filming this. In fact, I think the next few videos, they're all gonna be pre-recorded, unfortunately, because I am pre-recording for my holiday, which is in a couple of weeks. So I'm sorry that I won't be able to see any comments. I hate not being able to see comments and seeing your guys' opinions on stuff and seeing how many things I'm doing wrong. But hopefully you guys don't mind too much. And once I'm back from holiday, obviously everything will not be pre-recorded anymore. But yeah, so I came back into this today and I thought, let's start on a sim, shall we? You know, like, no. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? This is what I'm greeted with. Bloody daddy's about to eat from my child. It's not the vibe. <laughs> Spellcaster blood. Does it taste like normal blood? I don't know. But bloody daddy's about to find out because he's about to eat from amethyst. I don't know how this happened. I have not pressed play since I finished the episode. I swear this was not happening when I finished last episode. I swear it wasn't because I would have stopped it from happening. But yeah, no, I can't now. So yeah, that's happening. <laughs> it's the way that I was literally saying in the last episode, I was like, oh, Vlad's just gonna like starve to death. Like, you know, he's got no food. It's so, like, he's just gonna starve and like, he'll die. It's great, whatever. Um, he took matters into his own hands. <laughs> his own mind control, actually. Yeah, this is about to happen. Yep, yep, yep. And there he goes. He also looks like one of the creatures from The Descent, which I literally thought that Renesme looked like one of the creatures from The Descent last episode. So yeah, he really does look like one of them, but also quite, he's just watching. Like, bro, okay, like, listen, you're my favorite. So like, why are you just watching as my child gets eaten? I don't know what is happening okay a few things i'm just gonna leave this gonna leave let this let this be just let it happen so i did do a couple things from last episode as you can see we've got a lot less money now we had like six grand so i added this little egg chair I, this was so expensive but it was so cute and amethyst deserved an egg chair okay that's literally all i did for her room <laughs> then in jago's room i added this little chair which i thought was cute i'm just adding like various little things in each room as we go along obviously this is renesme's room which i decorated in the last episode which i think is very very cute i don't think i did anything different to e's room but i did indeed expand on the clown's rooms so this is how it's looking in. I had them as bunk beds before, but I was like, it makes more sense for them to have their own sections. It kind of reminded me of, like Sam and Cat, which by the way, I've never actually really watched, but it reminded me of their room at all like Wednesday, you know, like in Wednesday with Enid's room down the middle. I just thought it looked really cool. So we have obviously art section over here, which is my personal favorite. I like the idea that he's really into books. So I've got a lot of reading stuff. He's got like some mess on the floor and like some posters and stuff like that. And then over here we have Penny's side, which is kind of more very colorful. Um, She's got loads of like things that she's worn and stuff like that. And a lot of like very colorful things a lot of toys and stuff and then this bed oh my god when else was i gonna use it except for now you know what i mean i didn't do anything to tinker's room but downstairs i did expand a little bit over here so this is faya's room one of you guys said in the comments that i should split off the room to have a bathroom there and i agree that looks so much better so i've added this like arch i think it looks really cool on here to like go through because i feel like that's kind of a common thing where like people have like the doors that kind of open like that and i just thought it looked really cool and obviously like no one else is gonna be in here except for her lovers you know <laughs> sorry that's i hate the term lovers it's so grim but i've only added a toilet so far because i couldn't afford anything else and then finally in the kitchen we have an island and i think it looks so much better in here now i'm really really happy with it i did add a lot of stuff in here that was where most of the money went i'm not gonna lie these upper cabinets are like 300 smolians each but i think it's really cute and definitely a lot more decorated every episode i'm basically just going through and adding like stuff just because i think it's fun anyways distracted distracted yeah amethyst is gonna like pass out also she's at school she's at school right now she's meant to be at school this literally this second in fact everyone's got to go off to school tinker's just like no <laughs> I've actually decided I want to talk to my parent and said, no, girl, you have got to go. There you go. Okay. And Eve, are you off to school? No, not hopscotch. You got hop, scotch, your way to school. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. But Art and Penny are off to their first day of school, which is exciting. I think that Art and Tinker are going to get on pretty well. So I'm happy about that. Why would you choose that way? Guys, this is the front. Why? Uh, why? <laughs> uh, just why would you go that way? Are they going to walk through the fences? Yeah, that's what I get for doing debug stuff. But yeah, I think Amethyst might be a bit late to school today because a certain bloody creature has decided to eat her. So that's a bit unfortunate. Also, I'm determined for Caleb to die today. I've decided I'm going to add him to my household and see how his needs are doing because I think that maybe it's just like a glitch. You know, maybe he's meant to be dead, but he's just not. Anyways, oh my God, Renesme, girly, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. I will say like, this is not the best for children. Like, I don't know much about children. You know, I don't know. Never really been around many of them. Except when I was a child but let's be honest i was very mature that's a lie that's a, I'm, I'm i'm playing the sims 4 for a living i'm certainly not mature but <laughs> but that seems really dangerous actually the child needs food thank you but yeah a couple things that are gonna happen today so i want to work on renee's skills obviously i want eve to age up into a teenager actually i'm gonna get everyone to make friends so that'll be nice if we can make some oh god you're feeling a bit furious aren't you i'm so sorry you have got to go to school i can't imagine being like that furious and go to school i feel like i would 100 percent rampage and kill everyone but yeah i'm kind of mad about like daddy like first of all he was basically just in our bath for like the whole time like look at it he's literally broken our bath and we can't even replace it but secondly he's now at our child oh my god i'm so sorry that's so funny i was like oh let me just look over the child you can literally see her dad downstairs dying that's 
well. <laughs> That's traumatic. Yes, I would say, I would, I would argue, I would argue that is a bit on the traumatizing side. What do you, there's no child here, honey bunny. Honey bunny, there's no, oh, there is a child. Ugh, sorry. I'm so sorry. That was a really crap reaction. Also, apparently Jacob's at school, but like they're not. Like I can't get them to do anything. It's so glitched. It is so glitched. I don't even, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Okay, Amethyst, off to school, babes. Excited. You know, like, you know, people like mock people when they're like, oh, why didn't you do your homework? Oh, because my dog ate it. If Amethyst was like, I'm late because, oh my God, difficult family dynamic. I always press yes on those just because I feel like it's fun, but that's kind of sad. Oh, to be fair, if she knew that her dad was downstairs, like being killed by her mom, I kind of... Yeah, that is a difficult dynamic. I mean, one might argue that is a bit difficult to deal with. But I was going to say, imagine like Amethyst going in and the teacher being like, why are you late, Amethyst? And she's like, I literally got ate by a vampire. And the teacher's like, oh, <laughs> funny, Amethyst. And she's like, girl. <laughs> I'm deadly serious right now. I am. I really, I could have died. I mean, she couldn't. It's The Sims 4. She's also got a fear of homework now. Great, 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 great. Okay, can we please go take a shower? Because, Faya, you are very stinky. But it's kind of relaxing. Like, everyone's at school. There's literally only Renesme here, and she's doing pretty okay. So, this could be a really relaxing day, you know. This is kind of wonderful. Oh, okay, Vlad's daddy's on our bed. Okay, let's relax him. <laughs> let's relax. He's reading a science fiction book. Maybe, like, don't do that, if that's okay, Vlad. Or just teleport away. Yeah, you know what? He heard my, my wishes, I guess. But that's a bit concerned. No, he's back. He's back. You know what? Someone was saying... Oh, my God. He drew an inappropriate piece of artwork. That's hilarious. We encourage creativity. But someone was saying that it'd be kind of fun for, like, Vlad to be kind of like a parental figure. Like, instead of Caleb, because Caleb's gonna be, you know, dead. But it'd be kind of fun for potentially Vlad to kind of take over as, like, a cool uncle. And I feel like that's such a cute idea. So, I'm kind of tempted by that. So, if he's... Uh, he's not... Oh, where is he gone? If he's in the bath, I swear to... Oh, he's not. Oh, it's broken. I don't actually know where he's gone. Oh, he's downstairs talking to Quirty. Quirty, be careful. Okay, although if he was gonna like suck on the blood of Quirty, let's be real, that would just be like oil. You know, that would not be a tasty, tasty treat. Oh my god, he's like, no, stop it, Quirty. Stop it. That's so cute. <laughs> Jacob used forbidden words. Oh, they are really angry, so that kind of makes sense. But yeah, I think maybe we should potty train the child. Honestly, this seems like it's gonna be really relaxing. Like, I kind of want to sit back, relax. You know, like this is quite thrilling. Not thrilling, the opposite of thrilling. It's quite relaxing. You can't, you can't, you can't poo. Please, Renesme, honey. Girly, please. Thank you. Thank you. That's so much more aesthetically pleasing. I love it. Hello, Vlad. What are you dancing to? What music's playing? Nothing like a bit of ranch music. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of ranch music to really uh, get the arms going. You know, if he starts doing a cacao dance thing, I, I will cry. Okay, creepy. Jesus. <laughs> Look at his little hands going. That's so fun. I love Vlad. I don't even care. Yes, he has just, you know, took a bite of our child. But, like, there's something so fun about Vlad. You know, like, no one can deny he's a good guy. He's not a good guy. He's really not, actually. But he's he's funny, you know. So, <gasps> oh, my God. I forgot that that's been broken. Go ahead and repair that, babes. <gasps> Quirty, he's fixing the bath. Oh, my Quirty, that seems dangerous. Quirty, be careful. You're literally getting, like, rained on right now by the water. <gasps> Uh, oh, they didn't even fix it. Vlad's like, have you done it yet? <laughs> Maybe Vlad was like asking them to because he really loves that bath. He's very addicted to it. Amethyst used forbidden words as well. I reckon she may have gotten that from from Jacob. That's quite funny because they are in the same class. Maybe we could try and talk to Vlad. Like, will this go well? And Maybe even Quirty as well, you know? See if we could get like some flashcards or something from them. Okay, so the plan of action is I'm going to save and then I'm pretty sure I've got it on MC Command Center that I can have more than eight Sims in the household. So I'm going to add Caleb to my household and then see how his needs are doing because he might just die immediately because I feel like there's some sort of glitch going on. Like, he should be dead by now, surely. Ah, feed the cow plant. Oh my god. Have we got a mailbox? <laughs> guys am i missing a mailbox oh well that's a bit embarrassing isn't it hmm it appears i need a, <laughs> a laptop which i may have deleted to afford island cabinets that's my bad that is my bad maybe we should buy another computer that to be fair that seems like a good expense anyways but yeah i do need that to actually get more sims in the household my bad guys honestly but look how beautiful the kitchen looks you know you got you got you win some you lose some at the end of the day i don't know where we should put this maybe in like here so that the kids can use it as well we'll just get like an old computer that's fine Honestly, it matches our vibes. Okay, and now I should be able to increase the household size. There we go. Okay, so if we put it as like 10. Oh, I've got to restart the game. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you think we could just quickly remove one of our children from the household and then add Caleb back? Kill him and then add them back? Would that be a bad idea? One might say yes. But like, if I just save first, you know, what can possibly go wrong? Many things. Many things can go wrong. It's fine. I can 
just go back. I could just go back if worst case scenario. Or we could just remove Faya. Oh, but I kind of want her to be here as he dies. Renesme. No, I can't remove Renesme. Well, I don't want to remove one of the children. They're not even here right now. Faya, it might have to be you, babes. You'll be back in a minute. Pro I promise. Okay, just stay here. <laughs> okay, just don't move. Okay, she's gone. She's gone. Okay, now we add Caleb to the family. Look, his thirst is so low. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm telling you, irresistible thirst. Will he now die? Like, if I just bring him here, surely he's got to die. Like, it's that low. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly, please. Do you mind if you just die? If that would that be okay? Like, look at it. Surely he's gonna die. I don't understand. Either that, or we could just get rid of... Where is it? It's like the sun resistant. Yeah. Should we just, like, get rid of that? And then he'll die in the sun. Because, listen, I'm really struggling. I don't know how to... Oh, he's got a fear of death. Oh, bless his little soul. I don't know how else to kill him. I really don't. I think we've got to do it. I think we've got to do it to him. I do. I believe it. I be it's got to happen. It's got to happen. I think... Can I, like, click that? Aha. Uh -huh. Lock it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. He'll now die in the sun. So, if we now just quickly remove him from the family, <laughs> and then hope that Faye is still here. Is Faye still here? Please. Please. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Add to family. She's back. She got everything in her inventory. She's got everything. Guys, it was fine. Okay, <laughs> don't even worry. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything should be fine still. We've still got our children. Good, good. Yes, are they still our children? Absolutely. Wonderful times. It worked, okay? Now, all we have to do is bring Caleb upstairs and kill him outside, which is fine. I'm down for that. I don't know if we've got enough money, but it's okay. So, we will make a new bit because I've been trying to kill this man for literally days and it's not happening. There's only so long, guys. There's only so long I can go before we have to just do this. You know what I mean? Maybe we should put it in a more like secluded area actually. You know, I don't want anyone to see it, AKA, you know, his child. So maybe if we just put it like underneath the bushes, you know, it's like no one would even know it's there. You know, like if anyone asks, just be like, oh, what's, what? I've never heard of that. <laughs> That's like so silly. I didn't know that existed, but like, I just don't think he's gonna die of thirst. I don't know why. I just don't think he's gonna die. That rhymed. Wait, join gathering. Why isn't the gathering here? What do you mean join gathering? Come on. Right, go here together. Come on, Caleb. Out of your weird hole, please. Or you're just going to step. Good sir, you can come up. <laughs> don't even worry. It's okay. I've unlocked the door. Does he just not want... I mean, if he wants to stay, I shan't complain. But I just don't think he's gonna die. Oh, he's on his move now. Okay, he's here. Is he in? Is he in the hole? Is he in the... Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, stress. 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 <laughs> okay, now, yes, there is trees above him, but I don't think that matters. Now, Vlad's daddy will indeed teleport out, unfortunately. But... Caleb! You little swine! You little swine! Oh, actually, someone was saying... Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm really getting distracted. Someone was saying, if you get Vlad's daddy to go on the beach and keep making sandcastles, he'll die. Shall we try it? <laughs> because, listen, Renesmee's doing fine. We won't take her with us. But I don't know. I kind of want to kill Caleb. I don't have your guys' opinions whether we should kill him or Vlad. But I love Vlad. But then it would be nice for Caleb to live. But now they'll both die in the sun. We can just see he'll die first. Oh, that's quite thrilling, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. I kind of want to see he'll die first. Okay, listen. It's an experiment. We'll see who lasts the longest. If they both die, listen. <laughs> it's not my problem. It's not my problem at the end of the day. At the end of the day, they'll be dead. So who cares? Except for their children. But still, Vlad doesn't have children. See, that's the thing. I feel like, yeah, I should kill Vlad. But also, I'm like, hmm. But like, we have a bad relationship with Vlad. Oh, I don't know. Right, we'll just see who dies. Okay, if one of them dies, if both of them die, either way, I'm a happy bunny, you know? Which actually sounds really bad. Please don't tell that out of context. I'm talking about Sims. Or am I? No, I am. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need to stop making those jokes because at this point, it's starting to sound concerning. Not even at this point. It was concerning like 15 episodes ago. You know what I mean? Okay, let's save again because I'm concerned. Amethyst and Jacob are now here apparently. They just don't go to school. Like, I I mean, I can't blame them. Like, they don't need to, but like, it's very concerning. Okay, if we put one of the things as we want to build sand... Ca Is that a thing? Build sand castles? Is it not? <gasps> okay, that seems kind of rude. Like, I feel like that should be a thing. Building sand castles? Absolutely. Absolutely. flipping lootly. Well, we'll just put what summer activities i guess that kind of counts i don't know if it would work if i put dive in the ocean because i don't know if they'll like die in the ocean like can they die in the i don't know i don't know how it works so i'm just gonna put summer activities and hope that that works but let's go ahead and build a sand sculpture wait why don't they want to build sand do you want to build a sand sculpture come on let's go and play and amethyst do you want to do one with lad you know i mean he's a great guy <laughs> just kidding he's actually the worst but oh he's got an umbrella oh the little sod that's not fair <laughs> oh yeah vlad was the one that this morning you know i had forgotten maybe this wouldn't be the best but like it's fine it's all good it's all good caleb do you mind building a sand sculpture does that seem like a vibe to you i think it does i think do you not want to <laughs> do you not want to build a sand sculpture to me this seems like a, a good idea but like why would you talk about your crush bro will probably eat your crush if you're not careful bro okay do not say that Oh my god, Amethyst just went to high five and Vlad was like, no. Oh my god, are you about to scare her? <gasps> you sod. I bet she's terrified of you anyways. Also, Caleb's just not joining in with this. Like, do you mind? Do you not want to, like, join? Like, is that not a good idea? I feel like that'd be a good idea, right? Like, he's too uncomfortable. 
I think he'll die. I mean, look, both of them are sizzling. You know, I mean, it's basically a barbecue at the beach. You know what I'm saying? If anyone wants a snack. No, don't actually do that. That sounds bad. But like, you know, it's, it's, it is going to smell like a barbecue for a bit. So just please be warned. Ah, oh, cute couple things over here whilst we're trying to kill someone. That's unfortunate. Right, maybe Amethyst and Caleb can have a nice swim. You know, snorkel freely. Go flipping wild bro okay because vlad he might die anyways you know let's hope again that does sound bad but like i don't think there's anywhere they can go inside here so i think they've got to die at some point you know <gasps> oh look how cute this is jacob doing the little snorkeling oh this is adorable oh okay that was sorry <laughs> They just kind of teleported. That was a bit of a jump scare. Yeah, I feel like they've got to die, haven't they? They really have got to die. I mean, they're both really complaining. If they don't die, then something's wrong with my game. Oh, smooth apology. Oh, bless. Oh, bless you, little soul. But see, beach episode, guys. Yay. Just ignore the fact that, you know, it's a beach episode to try and kill someone. It's all good. Don't even worry. You trying to flirt with Caleb? Bro, not actually trying to kill him. That just seems like he's going to get very mixed signals. All right, he's going to get very... <laughs> it can be all very confusing. I think we have to do stuff like showing off our jewelry and stuff like that, because I think that that... <gasps> I don't really know what Farrah's doing with the slaying club. Excuse Excuse you. Excuse you. Maybe I do want him to die. Can we shove him? That would be kind of funny. <laughs> he might kill us, though. That would be a lot less funny. Bright and day. Hilarious. You're like, oh, it's really sunny, isn't it? It's really sunny. You're in Hiding's Festival as well. Exciting stuff. I actually kind of would like to go there. But, like, more than anything, I... Oh, Hugo. No, thank you. But, like, more than anything, I just kind of want him to die. I just want him to die. One of them. Just what? Just one of them will be fine. Oh, if we cloud gaze with Vlad... Oh. Well, that could be a good shout because if we cloud gaze with him maybe that will like get him to to die you know <laughs> it sounds so bad not even just out of context anymore just in any context <gasps> he doesn't want to cloud gaze oh you little swine you know what it might have to be caleb i'm so sorry this feels really dark now doesn't it <gasps> wait what if the sun goes down uh oh oh guys i did not consider this okay we've got a cloud gaze because we've got to get him to die i had not considered that the sun's gonna go down oh no oh disaster's gonna strike again i'm so unlucky are they not but is he not burning anymore <gasps> you're joking you you're joking. Hugo, bro, please calm down, okay? Is Caleb not gonna die? This is so unfortunate for us. I mean, really unfortunate. I had not considered that the sun was a thing. That is truly my bad. Truly my bad. Is he okay now? <gasps> He's eating from... Oh my god! Oh my god, the little sod! The little soddy McSod! You know what? You deserve to die! You just ate from your bed. <gasps> He's dying! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's the way that... <laughs> It's the way the face bumps just sticking up right. I gotta take a screenshot. I just got to. I've just got to look at these views. Bro dies looking at his past situationship. It's bum. <laughs> I'm so glad he's dying. This has really made my day. I mean, it truly has. I'm sure it hasn't made Caleb's day. Or it's made his day interesting at the very least because he's dead. But you know what? He ate from us just before dying. So I think he deserved it. That's hilarious. I know some of you guys liked Kayla, but you've got to admit that eating from Faya was a bit, bit far. And Vlad's just standing there like, what the hell's going on? This is why I don't interact with humans or anyone in that matter. Because like, you know, oh, hi, Grim. Oh, we're besties with Grim. Oh, BFF. Unfortunately, I can't chat to you right now because my bum's in the air. But do you like the view? <laughs> we're like trying to attract Grim. Do you like? This is so embarrassing. This is... Oh, and there's someone... <gasps> a teen. Oh, bless your soul. Yeah. Oh, and a fairy. A good two-in-one. A classic. Oh, fair scared of the dark now as well. This is a bit awkward. Everyone's joining. The whole squad. And there he goes. Yay. Oh, look at his beautiful grave. Oh, really? He's dead. Didn't notice. Oh, no. And Red Nose Maze getting a call. But see, she doesn't care because she's never actually really met him. So it's fine. And let's just put this in our inventory. And let's uh, let's head on over to the... <laughs> I love how Moira was just having a chat with him. That's hilarious. Let's just head on over to the graveyard before we go home just to add our grave. Oh, this is so exciting. It's been so long. Probably shouldn't bring any of our children. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah. So, where shall he go? Here he is. <laughs> That's kind of funny, having Vlad in a frame next to it. Bro, literally, nearly, 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 nearly wasn't dead because Vlad wasn't going to take his place. But let's engrave it. How have I engraved the others? Let me just have a quick check. <laughs> Lou Hal, Father Jacob, he kind of sucked, but oh well. Okay. Well, Caleb did kind of suck, but on fire. That sounded weird. Caleb Vator, father to Renez. Oh, I don't know how you spell it. It's something along those lines. Uh, He ate... <laughs> he ate. <laughs> I was gonna say he ate Faya, but just he ate is so funny. I'm keeping it as that because he did literally he ate. But Faya, hence the death. But that's hilarious. Just he ate. He ate. I love this graveyard. Stunning. Stunning. Never seen a more beautiful graveyard. Then again, I don't know how many graveyards I've seen, really. But you know, this one's totally taking the cake or taking the dead bodies when they die. Sorry, too soon. Too soon. I'm obsessed with the idea of Faya coming home and then Tinker being like, oh, what have you done today? Well, <laughs> so I killed a man. And uh, it was really exciting, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> pretty good day, actually. Uh, you know, in my books, that was a, that was a pretty, pretty, pretty good day. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Apparently, Amethyst's not here, but I'm pretty sure she is. No, she's not. Amethyst? Bunny, bunny. Okay, I can't even press play now. Oh, 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 oh. Is she back? No. Okay, I've teleported them home. It appears they're actually back now, except they're grayed out. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm trying not to judge, but it's very confusing. <laughs> and let's get Amethyst to do all of her plant stuff. I really want to work on her magic because I'm pretty sure we only need, like, two more spells. Also, they've become some sort of weird creature, which good for you uh, they've all could then yeah totally but yeah we only oh wait we need one more spell then she can oh no guys just one more spell then amethyst will move out that means that'll happen today that's so sad i didn't realize we were so close i thought that i'm gonna miss amethyst so much you have no idea maybe you do maybe you guys also love amethyst i hope you do i really love her i feel like she's been such a great gal you know but at the end of the day they have to move out to, so we can have other children so you know but she won't be far because they are gonna all live on this same lot hopefully anyways unless my game's been laggy because already it's lagging and i haven't even got a single other lot so you know oh wait eve can age up never mind i was like i'm gonna get eve skill up no she's already got level five in three skills so we can literally age her up now i'm pretty sure we even have cake in here somewhere so i'm pretty sure we can just use it yeah wonderful actually <laughs> wait is that yeah that's the cake we used to age her up from i'm pretty sure an infant to a toddler so that's cool she can just use that you know what maybe we should invite like has she got any friends maybe we should make like a, a kids club kids although she's about to become a teen well, we can age them up as well that's fine and we'll just add any other children we'll add art and we'll add penny as well but like do we know anyone you know maybe they look like people that you guys may have made oh my god that must be judith ward's kid maybe not <laughs> we'll add maribel goth because that a goth you know lakshmi i think is how you pronounce that silver sweater definitely and maybe lacy bailey as well i think that's everyone yeah so we'll add all these people and we'll invite them around just to have some friends for the children. It's a little bit bad that, like, she's gone this long and not had any friends. Let's get everyone to come down here. And I want, like, Faye to be here as well. Otherwise, I just feel bad, you know? I'm not gonna do it's like a full blown, like, you know, thing or anything, like a full blown party, but just for some people to be here. Oh my god, even Renee's mates come downstairs. Oh, guys, that's so cute. Everybody, please come here. Why are they going outside? Guys, why are you going outside? Okay, let's go ahead and buy the candles. I'm so glad Eve's got some friends. Also, we just made so much money from the garden. That's crazy. But what are you doing? No one cares. Literally not Eve. Honey, honey, bunny. What's the plan here you and penny are very close i understand that but combining is a little bit much <laughs> I, I mean it's a bit far you know okay come on let's blow out the candles everybody eve becoming a teen i'm so glad honestly this could be wonderful we're gonna have four teens in the household that's insane although amethyst is soon to age up but still okay happy birthday eve you are very creepy but i love you anyways i do really like eve you know she's grown on me a lot she bored me to begin with i can't lie to you guys but i really do like her now and i'm excited to see what trait she gets as well oh she missed the first time girl that's so embarrassing <laughs> i'm so sorry that's really embarrassing that you missed like it's right in front of you but like okay happy but oh look how many friends she's got oh guys this is so sweet this is so so sweet i'm gonna get art to add some more candles so that we can age up her friends as well maybe a couple of them or i guess we don't have to she can make other friends okay she is aged up she's also got on the high self-esteem confidence boost which is great let's go ahead and randomize her trait i want her to become kind of krampus like now so i've kind of got a storyline in mind which i'll tell you guys in a bit i'm hoping she'll get sort of like a bit of a bad trait i don't know let's see what she gets childish mm, that's not really that's like the opposite <laughs> i'm gonna randomize that again i'm sorry but that's the opposite of what we're going for the idea is that she's no longer childish so let's randomize self-assured that makes a lot of sense because she is confident so let's go with that i'm sorry guys i just have to you know and then we'll just give her maybe live fast would be a good one for her for her aspiration and here she is at aged up she looks very different let's go ahead and make her over in creative sim now see what she looks like i'm excited to make her as this crap was five i feel like the storyline is gonna be really cool <gasps> clement sent her a gift okay so basically my idea is she now hates 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 christmas because her dad was literally never there for her like clement was never around like he literally was never a part of her life like he never was there also she looks so much like him that's crazy but he was like never there for her when she was a kid she was like oh my god i'm the child of daddy winter like this is amazing but then when she's become older she's realized that like she hates him for that job because he's never there for her he's literally always out and about with other children getting them presents but never his own child so i feel like she now hates christmas so i'm gonna get her to go for a more krampus vibe because she naturally age up with these teeth when she was younger anyways so i feel like it makes a lot of sense and also i think it's fun <laughs> so i'm gonna go for more krampus energy which i'm excited about but yeah she definitely has a lot of daddy winter in her i think she's got Faya's eyes and potentially nose but i think like her face shape and everything is all very very daddy winter vibes but yeah i really like that idea that she loathed christmas because her dad was just never there for her which i feel like makes a lot of sense so kind of sad actually but you know so let's go ahead and just give her some skin details and stuff my sims is low-key lagging which is really annoying i do have a lot of custom content though to be fair 
I can't really judge it actually. I'm actually gonna look up a photo of Krampus because as much as I love like obviously the film of Krampus, I don't know like what the vibe is. Okay, so he has horns pretty much always. So I might add like tiny little horns. Maybe she covers them with her hair just so that she doesn't want people at school to know. Krampus is like very like kind of scary. <laughs> Bro's a little bit scary. I'm not gonna go like all in because it doesn't really make that much sense for it to be like full Krampus. Like it's more so that she's maybe going for a bit of an emo phase. Like instead of going for an emo phase, she's going for a Krampus phase. Did you guys not have that? Like <laughs> it's not a phase. It's a it's a Krampus lifestyle. Okay, so here she is with all the skin details on. And then I don't even know if I have horns. I think I do. I'd be very surprised if I don't have horns, you see. So she obviously has bright blue eyes. I can't remember what eyes I used for her. I'm not gonna lie. I swear, I'm the worst with this. I just forget so much. Like, I'm not paying attention to what eye contacts I use, okay? I'm just not. It may have been these ones. Yeah, that seems about right. And I'm gonna give her some pretty big lashes. It's not like a goth. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. This is gonna be really difficult. I did not anticipate this. Oh, God. Okay, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I might struggle a lot to get that. <laughs> I might go for something like this. So I'm gonna try and go for colors that aren't the colors that Clement wears. So he's got like blue and white, and then also obviously red and green are associated with Christmas. She does kind of have slightly red makeup. I don't know. I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do. But like, I'm trying to not go for those colors. So now when she was younger, she used to love blue. But now she actually hates blue. She hates white. She hates green and she hates red. And she loves every other color because she doesn't associate them with her dad. Which is actually really sad. You know, I, I love creating sad storylines and just being like, oh my God, this is so funny. But like, it's actually not. It's actually quite traumatic really. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I swear I've got some horn CC somewhere. Oh yes, I've got like these. Maybe a bit much. Maybe a bit much. Maybe. <laughs> I was kind of imagining like that. Even that's quite big, isn't it? Hmm. We need like tiny little horns. Tiny little, tiny little horns. Maybe like that. They're a lot smaller. I'm not going to be able to get your guys' opinion on this sim. Probably till she moves out at this rate because I'm going to be <laughs> pre-recording all my videos. So unfortunately, if you guys hate this, there's no way of me knowing. So that sucks. Should she dye her hair a different color? Like maybe she hates the blonde. So maybe she goes for a different color. But I don't know what she'd go for. Maybe she dyes it brown. I don't know. I just feel like it makes sense for her to like really try. Also, this hair looks banging on her, by the way. But <laughs> I just clicked a random one. But I feel like it makes sense for her to just like really rebel against him. You know, like she sees the blonde. She's associated with him she just wants to change it these horns look so cool but they're just like so much <laughs> like i don't know i'm trying to be subtle but like not then again we have clown children so i don't know how subtle i'm pretending i'm being but you know maybe those because they kind of blend in with her hair you may not notice you know <laughs> maybe when she's at school she like covers them or something but i think that looks really cool maybe she doesn't even want to cover them she's proud of being this krampus vibe honestly krampus is such a banging film that i too would be very proud if i had a krampus vibe to myself I think, like a nose ring she's so cool i actually love her you know i've really had a 360 with this last <laughs> poor thing i really didn't like her that much to begin with and now i'm like, oh, she's lovely. I love her. I just love the story. I think it's really awesome. Yes, I did create it myself, so I'm kind of tooting my own horn then. But you know what? At the end of the day, toot toot, you know? I'm allowed to toot, not fast. I mean toot, as in toot the horn. You know what I mean. <laughs> Hopefully. Kind of obsessed with the idea of having big ears. Like, I was kind of imagining that. I don't know. Would that be cool? I, can't, I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Again, I can't actually see your guys' opinions. But then I kind of want to give it earrings. Maybe these, because they're like more like slight. You know, they've got a bit of a point, but they're not like full. Again, she probably would have had those. Did she have those as a kid? No, she, I don't think she did have that as a kid. But yeah, I think she's really awesome, you know. I'm really, really happy with her. Okay, so as for her outfit, when I think of Krampus, I think of a hood. Now, I do have some CC that has a hood on it, like these ones here. So I was kind of thinking maybe one of these, but then it kind of covers. I don't know. I don't know how to do this, because that's what I picture. I mean, again, this is all just based on the, the Christmas horror film Krampus. I think it's like a tail or something i don't know if the original krampus has this kind of a steak or well, not a steak this kind of like look but you know again it's all based on the horror film for me well, like i don't know i don't know if i have anything else with a hood but it would make a lot of sense to have the hood but i don't know if that really feels right <gasps> i've just had a thought what if instead of liking christmas she likes halloween it's not the opposite of christmas by any means but it's like kind of like it's kind of not really but kind of you know so maybe instead of christmas she likes halloween <gasps> that would be cool <laughs> that would be very cool because then i can kind of go maybe like oranges and stuff which isn't a color scheme you think of when you think of christmas oh this could be wonderful <laughs> i'm such a genius guys i'm such a genius so i like the idea of wearing something kind of like a bit out there like i don't know i feel like that's kind of cool i'll probably do a makeover of the sim off camera because that's what seems to happen i film and i'm like oh that sounds so cool and then i go and i edit and i'm like holy crap what the hell was i thinking so if that happens uh, <laughs> she'll probably look completely different in the next episode but for now i think this is kind of a cool look maybe like that i think that's pretty cool it's definitely very very different to her original look which i like oh <gasps> she could have like the hooves oh <gasps> that's awesome i'm totally doing that i don't know again if she actually does look like this or if it's like she pretends like she's krampus but either way i'm happy with it <laughs> also just gonna add this it's like i love using this it really like darkens up certain parts of the face and i think it looks really awesome she's so different 
I love it. <laughs> I love her now. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I know I should have loved you before. But listen, at the end of the day, you know that any time I will choose the more alternative sims. Like, it's just life. You gotta accept it. I also think a Krampus has been very, like, old timesy. Like, I feel like it's, like, a kind of folk thing that they told many, many years ago. So I'm kind of imagining a more sort of very, like, old clothes. Like, she buys everything secondhand. She goes to, like, the vintage stores, you know? Yes, this is the dress from Wednesday, but it's so cool. Okay, I was gonna give her this shirt and then I was like, that would remind her too much of Christmas. <laughs> like, that's just too much. Okay, so here are all of her outfits. Again, I'll probably go off camera and do a bit more to them, but this is her every day, of course. Then we have her formal, which is so pretty. Her athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and her cold weather. Basically, I imagine, first of all, that a temperature does not affect her. Like, she does not mind the temperature because if Daddy Winter was going around literally to every single country, he'd be accustomed to every single weather. So I imagine that she's the same. So basically, like it doesn't matter what she's wearing for these two she'll just be like fine but also i feel like i was trying to go for stuff that would literally look like vintage like this was kind of difficult to do because trying to find stuff that's like athletic but also not really modern is kind of difficult but hopefully you guys like her again i will give her a bit more of a makeover off camera but for now i think that she is really cool and i really do like her so yeah i'm really really happy with her i also want to see as well if she has any magical abilities because i swear it says somewhere about daddy winter's babies have magical abilities like i read that when she was first born so if that is the case i want to see what they are because maybe her and amethyst could bond over the fact that they have magical powers i don't know <laughs> okay so here she is also i think she's slightly short as well from the looks of it but amethyst babes could you like get changed but, but here she is. I think she's so, so cool. Like I said, apparently there's like some sort of magical abilities. I swear it said on here, right? When you go down here, Father Winter's baby. Wow, Father Winter's actually Eve's dad. That's amazing. I wonder if she gets any magical abilities. Does she actually get magical abilities? Or is that like a thing like, oh, I wonder if she gets magical abilities? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's an actual thing or not. Because I'm not seeing anything when I click on the floor. I'm going to do a quick Google. Oh my God. All the reward is, is that it gives a perk of increasing satisfaction points by 50% when completing wins. That's it. Bro, I was expecting some teleporting ability. <sighs> Whatever. But yeah, <laughs> her room is definitely not really her vibe anymore so i reckon we should quickly give this a bit of a change as well because this is certainly not what we're going for to be fair we probably could just like change this bed out to be black like my soul but like the rug this we'll keep these just because it's cute to have but yeah all of this stuff is going i honestly think even a kid's stuff is going this gnome you know what? i might put this outside that's kind of cute but the rest of it the gift boxes they're all going this will go this can probably be moved into the kids room now there we go and we'll also move the play thing into there as well and i may even make the walls a lot darker we could also maybe go for a bit of like this to get across the halloween thing i might do that or even like a very subtle one with the bats but the issue with this i don't want to go over to like the renesmee vibe i don't think that she'd have anything like this on her wall so i think we'll be okay but yeah i think like swapping all of the pink out to be black honestly i like this room more now <laughs> But that's just me personally. So we actually have money now as well to spend. We have a bit of money. So I can definitely go for this stuff. I think maybe should we have a look at just spooky stuff? I don't know if that would be silly. Or paranormal maybe actually would be a good vibe. I don't know if spooky stuff's gonna have the right stuff. Like that's not really, <laughs> you know, maybe more this kind of energy would be the vibe. Oh my God, is that 500 smut? Never mind. I'm not paying 500 simoleons. I'm pretty sure there's literally one. Yeah, one in werewolves with this basically the exact same. See, that's got the blue on it. I'm trying to avoid the blue. Maybe like the red. Oh, it's kind of red though, isn't it? I'm trying to go for like orange. I guess that. Oh, we'll just go for the black. I think that's pretty cool. She could also do with an upgrade of bed, but I am a 20 year old and I still have not even a single bed. My bed's smaller than a single bed. So personally, I think it's okay that she still has a single bed. What else? Like, I'm trying to figure out what she would want. So, oh, that's it as well. So the thing that she needs to do to age up and move out is that she needs to max her handiness skill. The reason I did that is that you kind of imagine it to be like Santa's woodworking all the time to make the presents. That's why I picked the level 10 handiness skill for this sim. So we're going to need the handiness table, which actually is quite expensive. But the good thing with this is that as much as it's kind of annoying that she's got to get level 10, it's going to be wonderful because she can make, first of all, us money. She's actually like the first child to be able to actually make us money from her thing that she's doing. But also she can fix everything around the house and upgrade everything. So I'm kind of excited that she's now a teenager, to be honest with you. Honestly, it'd be good if we could fix it here but we don't really have the room let's just put it there and then other than that i'm trying to think of like what else she might want i don't think there's any other skill stuff she'll need but like what else would she want in a room you know like what is she into maybe we'll just use some stuff from high school years like posters and stuff so maybe she'd have like one of these is the like a sort of you know alt one i don't know <laughs> or like that that's oh yeah that's probably more like it yeah maybe something like that above there put these above her bed as well i kind of picture being like into arts because like i feel like handiness art it's kind of like similar energy so i'm gonna like put some maybe 
kind of like graffiti on the wall like she's you know been drawing it on there maybe actually i was gonna just like plop down some graffiti just from like you know regular but maybe we could put like a mural that literally fits exactly across that wall and she could make one herself that'd be kind of fun i mean i know we don't have to do the painting skill but like i just feel like it makes sense for her to do that and it'll give me basically free decorations because i'm struggling with the decorating in here to be honest <laughs> so kind of a two-in-one i love using that item to make it look a bit more lived in i actually use that exact same one in arts room but shh it's fine it's fine. No one will know, except I just told you. So actually you will know, but just pretend like you don't know, okay? I may even swap out a light as well. I've been actually into doing that in this house. I don't normally do it. I normally just keep like the same lights, but I find it kind of fun because it really changes up the room a lot. Maybe like this like candle one instead. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. Personally, I think that's really awesome. Maybe she's into like taxidermy and stuff like that. I don't know how much stuff we've got like that, but like if I search like skull, maybe she's into like that kind of thing. Personally, it would really freak me out. I'm not really. <laughs> I am a, I'm a wuss with many things, including taxidermy stuff. Stuff, but you know be like the cow plant kind of skull above a bed don't show it to the cow plant outside okay because it might eat you but i think that's kind of cool and there's like this like skull sort of thing there as well <gasps> oh this tool rack would be perfect for her look at that that is actually amazing and honestly i think i probably shouldn't spend any more money <laughs> um, but i don't know what to do in this little corner though it stressed me out but i guess if she's doing the mural she needs space there maybe we just put a little plant in the corner there we go yeah i think that this is the room i think it's pretty cool oh actually curtains maybe would be a good shout as well maybe she just put some tarp across a window just because it's easier and yeah i think this is a pretty cool room i feel like it's definitely very different to her before but i like it and i think it makes a lot of sense as well for her to go this kind of route let me know what you guys think as well because again i, I won't be able to know so hopefully you know she won't be moved out by the time i find out okay let's go ahead and actually start to craft some stuff because we can sell all of this and we can repair the bath oh it's gonna be wonderful actually not do that first girly <laughs> but like this is just gonna be great obviously i'm gonna get her to be friends and stuff as well but you know this is kind of important right now and honestly now that there's like other children here let's go ahead and talk to all of them and have a quick chat oh my god and Quirty's cleaning the sink as well. It's so cute because, like, they know they're risking their life right now. But, like, they're still doing it. Isn't that not so sweet? Oh, my God. I could cry. I could literally cry. Look at Eve in here working on this stuff. Incredible. I feel like that's the one thing she has in common with her dad. You know, like, that's the only thing that, like, she still does, even though she doesn't like her dad. Like, that's, like, the one thing that she has in common with him. And Amethyst just gone straight to bed. Can't blame you, girl. Can't blame you. Because you have been eaten by a vampire. So, you know. Oh, my God. Her face taking such a sad poo, but Quirty's just, like, right there. <laughs> Okay. I mean, they are pretty close, you know, but still. Oh, we also added this swing set. I forgot about that. I added this. How cute is this, guys? Are you kidding me? The most beautiful thing ever. I think that's the only thing I did in the garden. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> what is that? People were saying you sh I should lock them in the basement. That's actually a good shout because we could just put them down there and then lock this door just whilst they're raging, okay? I'm sure they'd rather this as well. We'll just lock the door for everyone, okay? Just for now. Remind me that they're there because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to forget and I'm going to be like, oh, where's Jacob? Like, what have they been doing? Oh, yeah, in the basement. I feel like we should go out and get... Oh, my God. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of sad. Oh, my God, that's kind of cute to me. I always see this and I always think of the Aurea Bully or whatever it is, you know, the Northern Lights. And I feel like maybe Daddy Winter's put that above for Eve. But, like, she hasn't looked up because she's been inside but like that's like as a birthday present oh they're so sad i don't know maybe oh, i don't know i need to stop making things so sad it's actually getting a bit out of hand now but yeah that's that's really cute maybe we should study our trends and do another video i think we're definitely getting there with the money situation i'm very happy about it and i feel like i'm spending the money but like that's good you know jacob's just on their phone hilarious <gasps> and quirty's here hi quirty <gasps> they can become best friends forever totally totally i do feel kind of bad that tinker's the only one who has an actual parent other than Faya. or the others are either dead or they got deleted which listen like, again that was my fault but i didn't mean to oh my god they become besties yay that's so cute oh why don't you like ask this child to like go on the swings or something have some friends oh and penny's doing hopscotch again like why don't you guys play together no no one no okay honestly guys you probably should get some sleep like it's getting a bit late you know <laughs> send all the children home that's probably a good idea and also we can add another kid now that eve's aged up i bet this is one of your guys sims because their name is fully in lowercase which is kind of bothersome i'm just gonna quickly change that but <laughs> oh my god penny off to bed please oh i don't think the penny could sleep because i put the blarfy on the bed okay fine i just thought it looked cute okay do you want it at the bottom of the bed is that better yes it appears that now they can okay fair enough fair enough fair enough also tinker's like wide awake i don't know what happened i don't know maybe she was just sleeping when she got back from school or something but yeah can you like stop being enraged it's really annoying actually i love that oh jacob is well past that yeah yeah they are a little bit they definitely can't do the somber howl they are very much full form they're really stinky as well it's, it's stressing me out a little bit oh god we've got a child i'm so sorry child i totally forgot you existed i was just my Minding my own business. Also, I think one of the children may have stolen, yeah, a couple of your toys, but also the tablet. Yeah, absolutely not. Thank you. The child is going to be nocturnal. Again, it does feel fitting for the whole vampire thing, but it's a bit inconvenient to me. I guess if the child wants to be nocturnal, they can be nocturnal. Okay, toy review video again. I'm just going to call this something random because I don't even know what a toy review video is. Let's just call it I killed a man. Legit. Again, not me. 
the same. I do have to keep, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this bed looks so rank now that Jacob scratched it all up. But I don't have the money, you know? Like, it's not my fault. Could you, like, stop being angry? I don't know when this goes away, but it's really aggravating. Aggravating. I'm sure it is aggravating because you're very angry right now. But, like, do you mind? Oh, Tinker looks so cool. I love Tinker. Like, this skill's gonna take so long. You know what I should do, actually? I should be an absolute legend to myself and I should change the lot challenges. So, we've got good schools, but I don't care about that. We've got Romantic Aura. Again, I don't really care about that. I think the Charles play is good. But then, let's do ones that'll match. I think Tinker's needs to go faster. So I don't think there is one that gets robotics up faster. That's really annoying. I can't see any that do that. Oh, that's so frustrating. Surely that should be in like the study spot or like the science layer or something, but it's not. Okay, whatever. Well, okay. Island spirits. You know, we actually need to have a baby with them. So that's cool. I think we'll do homey because that's cooking and handiness and gardening, which I feel like seems helpful. I'm thinking even gnomes, but then if it, everything gets mended, we don't need that. We've got Eve for that now. We've got our own gnome. Still enraged, are we? Oh my God, they're texting their dead dad. Okay. Well, that is not what you want at all. Really? Oh no. What happened, babes? What happened, Amethyst? You are not looking great right now, girly. Jacob's gonna be awake all night. This is unreal. <gasps> one star celebrity. Back up to. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that she was already a one star celebrity still. Oh, finally. Okay, <laughs> they're back. They're no longer a werewolf. Thank God. You know what? They're pretty awake though. That's that's always a good thing. Oh, and they've left pee downstairs. Really, Jacob? Really? <gasps> oh, Uncle, he's just sleeping on the sofa. I forgot that they were staying over. Oh my God, don't wake up your brother, you little sod. What are you doing? Okay, everyone's off to school in an hour. I think I'll go with them today just because we obviously have four teenagers now. So it'd be kind of fun to go with all of them. Meet some people. I just heard someone growl. Why did someone just growl? <gasps> oh, the cow plant. Oh my God, Jacob, quickly. <laughs> also, I haven't got a name for the cow plant yet. I think you guys may have suggested some, but I completely forgot what they were. So I will name the cow plant at some point, I promise. Oh God, Amethyst, you're gonna have a terrible day at school. Can we just go with like a couple of the people? Like, do I have to go with everyone, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna go with Amethyst or Jacob because we've already been to school with them. And also, they're very glitched. So, <laughs> I feel like I'd rather not. But those two are just like really glitched out. Every time I go to school, it's like, no, actually. Yes, that's way better. So, those two are off at school. They can do their own thing. Just because we have already been to school with them, it's kind of a hassle as well trying to figure out all of them. Also, apparently, once again, Eve's not at school, but Tinker is. Why do they do this? I don't know. Let's try and befriend some people. Is this a student? Yes. Oh, this is the mermaid. Okay, everybody chat. Okay, <laughs> we need friends and food. Friends and food. <gasps> this is definitely one of your guys' Sims. Definitely, probably a witch as well. And is this one of your guys' sims as well? Yeah, I think so. This is great. This is great. Eve, befriend everyone, please. <gasps> and a goth. Another goth. Oh my god. Not really gonna get Tinker to introduce herself to anyone because I don't really see her being the type to really be chatting. She can certainly get some food. And because she's doing like the robotics, we don't really have any of that at school. I bet they're like, ah, I'm assuming you're part of that family, aren't you? <laughs> like, I feel like they're pretty well known by now, you know? You've got an actual Krampus looking person right in front of you. You know, you kind of assume. Can we also claim a locker as well? Well, her outfit is so cool. I feel like, okay, this is kind of funny. She's walking like that because she needs to pee. But I feel like in that kind of dress, like in that kind of skirt, you'd have to walk like that anyway. So I kind of like the idea that that's just her walking. Like she can't walk any other way because it's just so tight. That's so funny. Okay, Tinga's at least introduced herself to a couple of these people. Also, I'm going to get Tinga to decorate her locker in, I don't know, actually. I get maybe anime. I feel like she'd maybe like anime. I don't know. Yours can be in grunge, probably. They're in the same class. This, everyone's on their phone. So real, so real. But like we've got so many cute classmates. This is lovely. Damn, I killed a man only was 130. Smullions. What's our most popular? Perfect foundation to look like a vampire. Blimey, everyone really loves that. Also, yes, you are going to chat to your parent whilst in class. Who cares? Okay, who cares? Except for the teacher with the really cool hair. But still, who cares? I think I may get Eve to be a bit on the naughty side, you know, on the naughty list. <laughs> Sorry. And I might get her to like put stuff on the board and stuff like that, like erase the board or whatever it is, like prank it. Okay, she's put on her decorations and I'm definitely gonna get her to try and prank the thing. <gasps> is the teacher in here? Oh, the teacher's right there. Girlie, what are you doing? Girlie! Uh oh, I think she's in trouble. <laughs> Eve. <gasps> Yeah, I think she's in trouble. To be fair, she wanted to get in trouble. And she wants to sneak out to party. Yeah, she's got in trouble. I get suspicious vibes from you. Girl, that's rude. I'm gonna do a mean introduction. I wanna do it again. It never worked. It didn't work. Maybe we could go over to like the other classroom and do that one. That teacher's gone. And Tinker's just like trying to not associate at all. Like she's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go read this book. Romance. <gasps> Tinker. I feel like she's maybe just in, like she's aromantic, asexual. Someone was actually saying, oh, a couple things I forgot to mention. People keep saying about the extreme violence mod to kill Sims. I know that that is a thing. I, I've used that many a time, guys. I've used that many a time. However, I don't really want to do that just purely because I feel like it's not as fun doing it that way just because it's so easy to kill Sims that way and I like the idea of having to do like a bit of a challenge. Oh, career day. Okay, so I won't actually be using the extreme violence mod for this series just because again, I feel like it's a little bit more boring. I like having to do like the proper deaths, you know, it takes its time, you know. Uh, but also someone said, is it a bit stereotypical to make the robot aromantic and asexual? Yeah, I guess kind of. But at the same time, honestly, I wasn't even planning on that. I just related a lot to Tinker and I just like the idea of that. I don't really mind if it is a little bit stereotypical. Again, Eve's technically not at school. I wanted to prank that whiteboard, you know. Can I do any other pranks? <gasps> Should we prank the teacher? This is kind of mean, you know. I hate people that were mean to teachers, but it's fine. We'll scare her. 
Oh my god, that's so mean. That's so mean, babes. <gasps> Wait, we can prank a toilet. I forgot about that. Let's totally do that. <laughs> Tinker, maybe have a have a chat to all these people. Ask for career details. Oh my god, is this Malcolm Lamb grab? Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's hilarious. <gasps> Just prank the toilet. Oh, you little sod. You're such a little sod. You know what? Prank both of them. That's kind of funny. Or oh, don't pee in it. Otherwise, you'll just get yourself pranked. Wait, a PA speaker? What's a PA speaker? I don't know. Is that like an actual... You can prank a speaker? I did not know that was... A... Or is it this? Wait, what? I didn't know you could prank a speaker, but she's done that, so that's cool. She also wants to sneak out to party. I don't know how we're going to do that, but sure. I'm going to get to meet everyone as well, because I could kind of see her dating quite a few people. Also, this person's a celebrity. Oh my god, a rising star. Okay, we're getting to know a lot of people. I do kind of like the idea of her having like a lot of relationships, so I may start working on that a little bit. Like this, no... <gasps> Noel. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion. You're gonna be very mean to her. Is it Noel or is it Noel? I don't know. But either way, Noel. Hello, Noel. That's like so Christmas. So sorry, girly. You're totally gonna be argued with. I was gonna date you. But instead, no, you're actually gonna be mean because that just makes way more sense. I'm sorry, but you can't be called Noel or Noel or whatever and not be hated on by someone who hates Christmas. It's just, it's gotta be done. It has gotta be done. I don't like being mean in The Sims, but I also like killing Sims. So I guess like you know. <laughs> she's embarrassed getting caught by school staff. Girl, no one cares. Okay. I don't think she even has attention because she's technically not at school. So that's cool, I guess. Press on your recent birthday. Thanks, my... S what, what would that even be? Half father? No. I don't know what that is when it's like your sibling's father. Huh. I don't know. Okay, school has ended. Yay, yay. Let's head on home. Apparently, Eve cannot head home. I don't know what's with this glitch or whatever. No, I want to go with... I want to go home, please. I guess we could always, like, go out with people. I, mean, I guess with, like, everyone could go out. Except for the child, obviously. But, like, I feel like that would be kind of fun. But where should we go? Not the bluffs, probably. Maybe, like, a nice big park. Maybe, like, Machino Meadows or something. That could be kind of fun for everyone to go. We won't take Quay because I don't trust that they're not going to die on me. But we'll take everyone. It'd be nice. I'm trying to, like, make my Sims get out more and stuff. Because I feel like every single video I'm editing it, I'm like, we're literally in the same house the whole time. And, like, it's just not fun. I, I want to keep going out, you know? I want to be partying. <laughs> No, actually, I don't want to do that. But, you know, a family gathering, I guess, is, is the furthest we can go. <laughs> Bro, why did I just get, like, the Jaws music? Like... <laughs> Oh, we are up next to water. Not to concern anyone. Um, <laughs> oh my god. She's feeling so angry right now. That's crazy. But I just feel like it'd be nice. I mean, it's not the nicest day, but let's start gathering with all of our friends. And I don't know. I mean, there's not really much to do here, is there? Maybe I could find one off the gallery that's a little bit better, because this one kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't like this one at all. It's so boring. There's nothing to do. Okay, little Simsy coming in clutch, as always. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Oh yes, this is perfect. My game is lagging. That's when you know it's a good build, you know? So now there's like so much stuff that we can do with everyone, which is wonderful. So let's do different things with everyone. So Faya, honestly, I wouldn't mind if she started talking to someone. <gasps> oh, we've got like the little basket with the food. That's so cute. Oh, this is perfect. You guys kept saying this in the comments and I'm well aware. I do know that this is such a cheat for getting the fitness skill. I'm well aware of that. I didn't want to do it because I was like, it's kind of cheating just to have that. Like it gets your skill up so much by just pressing dream big. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. But because it's here, we might as well. I think that the kids maybe will play in the splash pad. You are feeling so angry oh my god what if she dies that would be so peak <laughs> that'd be literally so peak we'd have to have another child with daddy winter we've tried to kill him multiple times i don't know how receptive he'd be with that but still oh and tinker's going straight for the chess board this is so cute maybe you could play chess with someone i swear she was pretty good friends with what was it alexa is she here alexa please oh my god alexa's texting amethyst see if you want to go hang out no i wanted you to come here why are you doing the vending machine you're gonna die girl you're gonna die please don't oh, okay she got it thank god look how high this skill goes up it's actually insane i don't know why they haven't fixed it yet it's on 84 right they literally just run forward do a little bit of this do a little bit of that look at this literally level set like we literally went up by like so much percentage that's why i haven't been using this just because it's a bit of a cheat i'll use it a few times but that's it just to get a little bit of a boost but i don't really want to do that too much just because i do feel like it's very very cheaty even though it's part of the game so i know it's not a cheat but like i don't want him to age up too fast you know Faye is gonna go cry in the closet girl you're the one that killed him be it for real right now honestly maybe you could play some chess with tinker that would be cute amethyst you need some fun maybe you could watch a film that'd be fun why don't you guys watch sims of the dead why don't you watch it with a few of your friends That'd be fun. Oh, look at these two. Oh, bro, you're so stinky. But look, this is so cute. I think this is the goth. Yes, Maribel goth. Totally would vibe together because they're very similar energy. Feel bad that Renesmee's at home. I mean, to be fair, she actually could have come here. You know, what? I'm gonna bring her. If she's a toddler now, she can actually move herself. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's this whole toddler thing here, so we could totally use this. I was, <laughs> I was thinking that these were the toddler things. No, Lana, that's for dogs. Um, very different. Yeah, very different. There's so much to do. Can the child use this? <gasps> we can go in the kiddie pool. Oh, it's too cold. Okay, whatever. Oh, we could play in this though. Cute. Okay, yeah, we'll let the child do that. Nice for her to get some friends.
friends. Also, there's a shower. Where is there a shower? Oh, in here? Oh my god, that's madness. That's wonderful, though. <laughs> Eve's just gone on a jog. Love that for you, babes. And Tinker and Feyre are playing. This is so sweet. I really want these two to be friends. Quirty's wondering if you want to go over to hang out with- Wait, Quirty, first of all, that's not your house. That's our house. And also, that's the wrong child. <laughs> oh, look at all them watching the film. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, she wants- Oh, I forgot that she has a crush. You know what? We're gonna totally do it. We're gonna totally do it, girl. Go for it. Clearly, it wasn't working out with Nova, so we're totally gonna do this. Am I doing this right? Oh, that's so sweet. Reveal crush. Shall we do it? I don't know. I feel like it's a bit risky. We'll do a bit of flirting, though. Bit of a pickup line. <gasps> it's working! Oh my god, thank god. <gasps> oh, and Renee's Bay's up here doing this. Why are you in your pajamas, girl? Why are you in your pajamas? <laughs> Please get changed. Please get changed, okay? Oh, guys, this is so cute. Oh my god, I could cry. I could literally cry. I'm so happy. Oh, little... Oh, I love moments like these. They're so sweet. There's so many Sims, though. It's kind of stressful, but it's okay. Are these two... Oh, <gasps> it's going well. It's going well. It's going well. It's going well. Okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so happy. They're not really watching the film, although I think the film may have finished. Level three romance skill. Oh, should we also do a magic duel? Oh my god, we could do like the, oh my god, infatuate thing. No, that's just wrong. And these two are still playing chess. This is so sweet. Unpleasant conversation. Okay, maybe less sweet, but this is so sweet. <laughs> Ignore that. Oh my god, apologize. What have you been doing? I feel like Tinker is just not great with like conversation. So maybe she just actually says something wrong. Oh, and these two are playing on here as well. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, shut up. The child's on the move. The child's on the move. This is so cute. Guys, I could cry. She's actually gonna go. <gasps> She's actually gonna play. She's actually gonna play. She's actually gonna play. I've never seen this. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I did not play much of Growing Together, but <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is great as well because she won't be able to get this when she's older because she'll be burning in the sun. So the fact that she can do it now is just adorable. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Amethyst just got her last spell. She got it. Furio. She's now got 10 spells. Guys, she can move out. Oh, I guess we'll age up when we get home. Or maybe we'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. But she can move out. Oh, guys, I'm so sad. <laughs> I don't want to move out. I don't want her to move out. Wait, there's a skate thing. Oh my god, shut up. Oh my god, I did not. How did I not see that? That's so embarrassing. Let's get everyone to skate. That is so cute. Let's get literally everyone to skate. Well, except for Renesme. That seems like a dangerous thing. But let's get everyone to skate. In fact, the child just being kind of over here by herself. Although they come in here, so that's fine. They, they, can, they can see her. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <gasps> and these two. Oh my god, guys. This is so sweet. I feel like Tinker. Maybe her and Faye are getting on really well now, which is really nice. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is amazing. <gasps> it's all just come on. Oh, this is so cute. Oh yeah. Let's do like some sparkles as well. <gasps> guys, is this not the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Even Renesmee's coming to join. Shut up. She actually can't. But still, <laughs> pretend like she is, okay? She's joining, guys. Guys, did you not know? This is so cute. Oh, and yeah, there goes Eve. But look at this, guys. This is so adorable. All of the teens on here and Fair as well. <laughs> Good thing she's not pregnant. But yeah, look. Oh my god, girl. Girly, calm down, okay? This is so adorable. I feel like maybe we should start heading home. It's half seven, but this is so cute. I'm so happy about all of this. Okay, yeah, maybe everyone should start going. <laughs> it seems like everyone's getting a bit tired. <gasps> Shut up, is Faye actually taking her home? Oh my God, that's so cute. I swear, normally they just leave the toddlers or like the infants, whatever. They just leave them. They don't even care, but no, like she's actually taken, she's actually taken Ren as my home. Guys, this is so cute. I need to start calling her Ren. I was gonna do that originally, wasn't I? I was gonna nickname her Ren, but I just haven't. But like, yeah, Ren. Oh, this is so adorable. This lady is so adorable. This lady is so, this is so, this is so cute. Okay, they're taking a while to get home. I don't know why they're taking... Wow, long route, guys. Long route. We might be here for a while. It's like nine o'clock already. We started leaving at seven. <laughs> is everyone gone? No, Jacob, Penny, any time today? Any time today would be great. Really great. Where are you? Why are you going this way? Everyone else has gone the other way. What are you doing? Is this... What's the plan here? You're going to pass out, girl. Oh. Uh, Shouldn't have judged her, really. She managed to make it home, so I guess that's always a good thing. Oh, and we just got bills. Really? After all of that, we come home to bills. That's just evil. That's just pure evil, bro. <laughs> and we were having such a cute time as well. Okay, I'm just gonna get everyone to sleep. It's actually not that late, you know. I was getting everyone to sleep, but I guess realistically, they don't need to. Craft a sculpture, maybe, before you go to bed. Oh my god, Tinker's going through a phase? <gasps> Distant phase? I mean, to be fair, I feel like that's just her life, but okay. Sorry, Amethyst, but I want you to do all this before you age up and move out and leave us. I'm gonna be so sad. This is actually really devastating. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really am sad about this. I really did not expect her to be... I don't know. I mean, I knew she was moving out first, but there's just something so sad about all of this. I guess the only thing we could do is because I've increased the max household size whilst Faye is pregnant, we could keep Amethyst in the household and then move her out the second she's about to give birth. The only thing we can't do is go into create him, but like, that should be fine because like, we're not gonna, you know, because like, the baby's won't have been born. So maybe we could do that. We'll see. Totes just realized this is the same skirt that Eve's wearing. <laughs> 
Oops, did not realize. Oh well. Hey, when I'm trying to skip through the night and one of the children's like, oh yeah, I need to pee. Like, shut up. Just do it. Like, I didn't ask, did I? I literally did not ask. Thank you. Thank you, Penny. Again? Oh my god, Eve. <laughs> I was just starting to like you as well. Come on, please. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. I don't know why I just thought it's kind of funny that Art just woke up and was like, mm. so I'm gonna leave it on him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As I said, the next few will be pre-recorded. Like, I'm literally gonna film one tomorrow and then the day after, and none of these will be going up for a couple weeks. So that is a bit of a shame, but hopefully you guys don't mind too much. And obviously, I'll probably have a lot of fixing to do when I get back from a holiday and it's no longer pre-recorded. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of these sims in the comments down below. And also let me know what you think of Eve as well. I really like how she looks. So in the next episode, I think maybe we'll try and get the clown kids to age up into teenagers. We'll also obviously have Amethyst move out, which is really sad. Honestly, Jacob might be getting close to be able to move out as well. And also Renee's baby will definitely become a child. So there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in the next episode. Let me know if you guys are excited in the comments down below. So remember to like and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the video. I love you guys. Bye. I filmed for so long today. That's actually insane.